Hello guys, Sunny here from Dope Designs, and welcome back to part 2 of this tutorial. So, if you guys didn't watch part 1, I suggest you go back and watch that. There'll be an annotation somewhere on the screen. So, what we basically covered in part 1 is how to do this part of the tutorial, where your textures comes in, and there your explosion happens, and then your text fades out. So, that's basically all we covered in that one. Uh, so yeah, I suggest you go watch the other one if you haven't and if you already followed that and you're just waiting for this And let's get right into it. So now basically uh, we're, we're about halfway done as I said in all the one so um, As you can see the explosion happens and it fades out and now basically we just have to add our link So let's just pull the cursor to about I would say five seconds and let's go over to your text tool and Paste it right there, and now just type your link. Let's up. Oh, it's a little laggy because I'm recording. Sorry. YouTube.com. Um. Oh, let's. Uh, I'm gonna make this all capital because, in my opinion, it does look better. YouTube.com slash. Dope designs, GFX, yeah, guys. So just sorry for that little lag right there. Um, yeah. Now and now, basically, um, you don't want to make it too big, uh, because you don't want it to look awkward or anything. And yeah, so now that we have our link, we want to get it exactly in the middle. So, so you just want to come over here, click in this target type thing, and you want to go to title slash action action safe. And by doing that, you get this, you get this popping up right here, and this basically helps you put this in the middle so as you can see when you go to move this um, there is actually like two white boxes that come up in the middle so what I like to do is is just match those up directly in the center just like that and now if you look at it the link is exactly or uh, it's actually just off a little and 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 you're not gonna get a hundred percent but you know you just want to be relatively straight so I, I'd say I'd say that's good as you can see that there's about the same amount of space on both sides and it's pretty much in the middle so so now we just want to go there and uncheck this and yeah there we got our link in the middle so so basically so far we have turn cap sock off um all right, all right so all right so as you can see the link comes up here so to get rid of that we need to drag our cursor all the way to where this where the tutorial text fades out which is at around 5 seconds um, I'm just gonna get it exactly on five like that and now just come over here and when you go to the end uh, your cursor sh should change this two arrow type thing and you could just simply click and drag it down and there we go um, I'm just gonna pull it back one more frame and yeah there we go so it comes in exactly at five seconds so so what you want to do now is you want to come over here and click this drop down menu. Then you want to drop down transform. And what you want to do now is is um if your if your menu thing right here if your layers look like this, you just want to press F4 again and bring up this and bring up these options right here. You want to select 3D. And when that does happen, as you'll see the background goes black. So what you want to do is now you want to scroll all the way down, go over to your black solid, which is our gradient background, and you want to select the 3D cube on it too, which as you can see if you just look down, it's a, it's the last third row and now you can see it. So that doesn't do anything to the background. It just makes it so it's visible under 3D um well like when you're using the 3d settings so what you want to do now is you want to make your anchor point which is this point right here in the middle so to do it's so to do that what we're going to basically do is is you're just going to come o over to your anchor point like this and as you'll see the cursor does change again and you just want to drag 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 until you got it until you got that green arrow about in the middle again just use those boxes in the middle so i'd say that's that's approximately uh, prop. Oh wait. Um, I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna undo that because, well, well, I, actually, actually no. I, you don't need to undo it. We'll just, it'll just add one little easy step in the middle. So basically now, uh, we just gotta reposition it again. So you just wanna go over to title action safe. I'm sorry, I, I should have told you guys to do this before. And you could come over to your position right here and simply just drag it because we already have it. We already have it in the in the middle as for the as for like up and down vertically so we just want to get it horizontally right so I'd say that's about right um just let me have a look once more 
Um, so it's off by just a little. I'm just gonna fix that up. Um, and just gonna move it a little bit. Yeah. Alright guys, so basically now that we have our anchor point in the middle, um, let's just see how it is so far. Oh yeah, uh, also as you can see right now, I'm going back to the beginning and right now you should be seeing the tutorial text but yeah what you also have to do is you have to turn on the 3d effects for that so it comes up also so right over at the end right here you just want to click them again if you don't have them press F4 and it toggles through the different menus right there so yeah once you do that as you can see it's there then the explosion happens oh well the explosion actually did not come through because we forgot to click it but yeah, so so basically, just turn on the 3D layer for all the for all the layers right here, and it should be fine. But don't add a camera in in case you guys are trying to go past me. But yeah, don't add that in because you don't actually need that for this. But yeah, there you go. And yeah, so this is what we have so far. This fades out, and then you got your link that just fades in, nice. Or or we haven't added the fade yet, I think. But yeah. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to work on the transition. So so you want to come and just drag this about right here. Just make sure that um, you have your layer for your link set to 5 seconds. Then you want to drag it just a frame back just so. And and you could use this right here to navigate it a frame forward or back. So, so there you go. I want to drag it a frame back just so we can't see the link. And what you want to do now is you want to have your you want to have your text options open like this with the drop down menu and then you want to keyframe the Y rotation and now and now right here you want to change a the degrees from 0 to I would say 90 and and now if we look at it um you can't see nothing as basically it just comes up as a line so so basically what you want to do now is is I would recommend doing this um it, it like the transition should be should be a within a second a second would be the max i would say or i would say do it half a second if you want it to be fast so for this i'm gonna actually go to a full second so from five seconds to six seconds and now you want to set this back to zero and and now if we take a look at it as you can see it does the it does a transition but as you can see it, we can't see the front part so to fix that what you want to do is you get on six seconds so so yeah there we go I got it 529 and basically it this is just a check now you want to go over to your position and as you can see you got your first one your second one and your third one your third one should be set to zero and what you want to do now is you want to basically change it so I would say just make it um well yeah I would say just make it negative 1000 since since I doubt any of your links are going to be longer than that so like that should be fine and now if you look at it it does come fully like this as you can see you could see you could see the front youtube.com part and you could see your name so it's all yeah guys so basically now that we have the link and everything now we want to add the shine effect so for the shine effect that I had on the one you actually do need a the a the plugin shine so so if you don't have it I'm sorry I can't supply that for you guys and and I'm pretty sure a pre-render wouldn't work for that either. So yeah, you guys could just skip out on this step. It like honestly, it'll still look nice. It just won't have that extra little bit to it, which which I would say does give it a little more professional look to it. You know, it's just more th than a plain link coming. But yeah, you guys don't have to, or you could, or you could always add your own thing right here and just do something creative on yourself. But yeah, for the people that do have the shine. I'm going to show you. So basically, we're going to go over to our Frex and, and Presets and just search. And here we have the Trap Code Shine. And we want to put that over our link layer. And right now, we're just going to go. And you want to change the Transfer Mode to Add. And then you want to come down and change the Colorize to... You, know, you could play around with the Presets. I like to change it to about... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try... I'm going to just try a bunch of them. I I honestly don't know which which one I chose last time. It was a bluish one, so All right, let's just and you could obviously customize it, but All right, l let's just say we chose this and and you know, if you want, you guys could always customize it and make it like darker or whatever, but for this, let's just say this is what we chose. 
So first of all, you want to make the ray length smaller. I would say make it maybe one or two. One or two would be good. Or yeah, I'm gonna make it about two. That seems good. Uh, what you want to do now is is basically you just want to come and you want to go right before the link comes in again. So right before five seconds, and you want to basically it, it, you want to keyframe it, it, it the shine opacity. So now you want to keep it at a hundred, and then and then right when your link gets full fully out like this at about six seconds, um, I'm just gonna make it simply zero. So hey, so what that's gonna do is, as you can see, right when your link comes in, it's gonna shine, and then it's just gonna go away. Be, be, you don't want it to be too much, and you don't want to overdo it. This is just supposed to add like a little effect to it, just to just just like to. Uh, so it's not so plain and uh, and it kind of adds something and personally I think it looks very nice uh, this was actually my first time doing this but yeah and and it turned out pretty nice as you can see I'm just zoom into it and show you guys so like yeah as you can see when it's turning it does give it a nice effect rather than just the link um but yeah if you guys don't have the have the plugin I'm sure you could find it somewhere on YouTube but yeah I can't supply that link for you guys but yeah that's all I'm gonna say so basically now uh we're done so if you want you can make your link fade out simply by if i just keyframing the opacity um well actually i'll just show you guys the full thing um it, it, so to add a little bit extra if you just don't want your link to to find again it, it go right behind the right behind when it appears so right as the tutorial part is fading out or whatever yours says and then just simply keyframe the opacity to I would say zero and then after I'm just going to go ahead and and I'm just gonna go right right as you could see it's so as you could see right there if I turn the opacity up you should be able to see it a little so I'm gonna turn it up to 100 there and now if you see it slowly fades in right as that happens it's quick it's a quick fade in but it does add a difference rather than it just like popping up like that and there you got it and now basically let's just say you want the link to fade out around eight seconds so so you just want to come over to your eight seconds um and you want to put and you want to change the opacity to 99 and then you want to basically change it back to 100 so what that's going to do is that's just going to put a keyframe there for you and we don't want it to be 99 because we want to keep it exactly 100 so there you, you got it to be 100 again and now what you want to do is just come over here and just go to the very next frame or you could just eyeball it and and just move the cursor and just make this zero and this will give you uh, basically a, a instant fade like that but let's say you want it to be a longer one you can just go over to however long you want so I'll go over to nine seconds and make this zero so and there you got slow nice fade out I, I wouldn't recommend making a whole second maybe like half a second but like if you just want to end it kind of yeah like you could just do it after one frame but I recommend doing it to maybe like half a second so I'm just gonna drag this to half a second or approximately there to show you guys so yeah that's that's a half a second right there and as you can see it fades out fades out pretty nice it's not too fast not too slow and yeah that's good so now basically now we're done all the after effects part as you can see it comes in hits the the blast happens and there you got your link coming in and it looks very nice and it's it's fairly close to the one I made it's obviously not you know it's not 100 percent but it's pretty much it's pretty much what I made there so what we're uh, what we're gonna do now is basically render it so to render it you wanna go over to composition and you want to go add to render queue and when you add it first of all you just wanna click um this right here you just want to click comp 5 or whatever it says for you output 2 and you want to save it wherever you want to save it now now you could just name it whatever so whatever you feel like naming it you could just put that in I'm personally not going to render this because um, if I render it while I'm recording my screen my computer might you know freeze up and stuff so I'm not going to do it and then and then basically um, just go over to your best settings and just make sure this is set to best and this is set to full resolution and then just click OK and then you could go over to lossless and just make sure it's set to AVI and then and then all you gotta do is just make sure that's checked right there it should be automatically and then just click render and it should automatically start rendering and then and then just pause this video and once it's done just come back there and yeah it should all be good
Right, so basically that's it that's how you make this intro so the only thing left to do would be to add sound and you can use your sony vegas or or any other editing program just to drag this in and then just add add whatever like song track you want or sound effects and you guys to customize that by yourself because i doubt you want the same sounds as mine and and personally i don't want you guys to have the exact same sound if you have the intro you know i don't mind i like helping people but you know i don't want it to be a exact 100 percent copy so either way thanks for watching guys if you want me to do more tutorials just leave your just leave like your ideas in the comment section below so if you want me to make a tutorial on a certain effect or, or on something that you've seen me do in the past i'd be i'd be more than glad to make it on that so i am gonna uh, i am gonna start doing more tutorials for you guys soon because you know i enjoy doing them and i'm pretty sure you guys like to know how to do stuff so yeah thank you for watching again peace out guys